Hello everyone, it's Rage and welcome back to Call of the Sea. I'm so excited to finish up this game. Like, I've been having such a great time, but I can't wait to see what it has in store for us, I guess. I've been really liking this, like, one game that I get that's, like, really chill. So if you have any suggestions for more of those, do let me know. But for now, let's just get into it. Oh. It all makes sense. Nothing bad is going to happen to me here. As menacing as this place might look. The island, the ooze, those sea creatures. They're just defending themselves. Like a wild animal against an unknown threat. Mm. That's how they perceived the expedition. Like a threat. But I, on the other hand, mm. I wasn't a threat. And I definitely wasn't unknown, was I? Oh. They seem to recognize me as if I was one of their own. Careful. I mean, sure, seems man. So distant now. As if I first stepped on that white beach thousands of years ago. Look, I don't want to stay here. It can't be. Yesterday was... Yesterday was a new moon. Did I lose track of time or... I guess we'll never know. This place isn't subject to the laws of physics. That's the only explanation I can find for this surreal night. Okay. It's hard to believe everything's real. Maybe it isn't. Maybe I'll open my eyes sometime and I'll be back in our home in Inglewood and everything will be as before. We can all hope. My perfectly ordinary life with Harry. My daily routines. My illness. That will be as before too. Mm. And then I'll need to shake off this strange feeling that I have now. Feeling that I don't really belong there. Oh, anymore. pretty. And with there, I don't mean Englewood, Boston, or Newburyport. I mean. <sighs> How is it possible that the strange events of only two days on this island makes more sense to me than the life that I've been living for years? I don't know. Ask me questions I don't have answers to. Okay. Let's go. Oh, okay. We need to cut the door. Okay. Sanctuary. So is this where you went, Harry? Was this your last stop? Really cool looking. Very pretty. Okay. Let's see what this place is about. So cool, though. Hmm? My God, this syringe has traces of black ooze. What the hell were you thinking? Black ooze on a petri dish. Hmm. There are drops of dried blood inside this altar. That's not a good sign. Ah, I see. Someone has set up camp. Another camp. Although it's little more than a few things scattered about. Another note for us. My dear old pal. I never should have trusted Cass. I thought she cared about you. But she's just mad. Obsessed with this place. I can't trust her to help me overcome the last obstacle. This door. I know how to open it. But what I have to do is mix my blood with the black ooze. Am I mad for even considering that? It's the only way we can be together. It has to work, right? All this can't be a coincidence. The ritual is made for the two of us. Isn't it, Nora? I wish you could be here to... Damn it. I, th I have to think it over. I can't. I, uh, to tomorrow. Leave it for tomorrow. Stop writing. What a 
you saying, Harry? Mm. Don't you see what the Black Ooze does? What it did to the Doctor? Are you out of your mind? I mean, probably. A library? What are you talking about, Harry? I had a strange dream today. I was inside a vast library and gazed at vistas of another world. I'm not too sure what the last word is. Is the blood of these creatures some sort of catalyst? Only one way to find out. Heavens, his dagger looks exactly like the one I have. I see. Harry, what is this? Kind of. Looks like the ramblings of a madman. I mean, you say that it's the ramblings of a madman, though he doesn't seem all that insane. Not entirely. There's something over there. We probably need to get inside to figure it out, though. Okay, pull out the dagger. We got stuff to do. These patterns look too familiar. You know what you gotta do. Yeah, oh, I really hope this works. Seem to have worked fine. Come on. Let's go into the strange temple. Excuse me? Oh my goodness. And the gun barrel is empty. One of the final two people are dead, probably. A woman's earring stained with blood. My god, Harry, what did you do to her? Don't question it. Just just keep if walking. He's behind that door. I wonder which Harry I'll find. How much would be left of the man I love? And how much of the man who has lost his sanity in this place? I'm not too sure, honestly. We'll have to see. All these papers are riddled with incoherent doodles. I mean, gathering from the stars outside, it uh, doesn't have to be all that incoherent. Hmm, I wonder what this means. Those stone statues seem to rotate with this switch. Okay. It's not extremely helpful, but okay, so yeah, it really does look like constellations. So it's a a puzzle. One that I'm not seeing just yet. Okay, um... It's a pentagon-shaped symbol with channels in its edges. What was it used for? We'll figure out at some point. Right now, though. Oh! Okay. Circular stones with strange carved symbols. They are too specific for me to be guessing, so let's not do that. Oh, they are on all of them. Oh, this is going to be one hell of a puzzle. Hmm, an eye and a star. Look at the stars, maybe. Oh. The stars are aligned, forming a constellation that I don't recognize. That is not the same sky you can see from Earth. And if that's not the Earth sky... Oh, pretty. Where am I now? I have no idea. Where is this door leading me? Oh. 
so we can interact with the doors. Shining constellation. I better draw it. Okay. Some of them are just like so shiny that you can't really see that there's something like a prompt so you can interact with it. Hmm. I wonder what this means. But strange, but it's fine. Constellations and stars. These people seem to worship otherworldly gods. I mean, I could have told you that. Okay. Doesn't let me interact with any of them, though. Hmm? There's a bullet hole in here. Oh. Well. A trail of blood. Someone was hurt. Look, that's not our concern right now. Oh. There's another place outside here. Okay. A camera. It must be Cassandra's. Seems broken though. Harry asleep in his tent. What a creepy photograph. Oh well. Oh my, she sounds completely out of her mind. I've seen the future. Eternity awaits me. Death awaits Harry. Oh. Mm. Moby Dick. Its pages are hollowed out and its shape is... <gasps> mm-hmm. Okay. I don't understand. Have I been here? You look sketchy. Let's give it a try. Ouch! Oh, ah. what was that? Looks like a tattoo, but it isn't. Those are my spots. They've moved. Well, we needed something, and I'm hoping it's that. So let's go. I'm guessing we need to find another one of those for each of them, maybe. Each of them are shining now. Only for a specific one, though. Hmm. Oh. I thought I was... I guess I was wrong. Anyway. Oh, it's scary. To a, a throne room. That was the final step in the ritual. Okay. The more you know. What an odd structure. Riddled with nooks and crannies and endless stairways. Eh, I don't judge. going on here? How do I get down there? Maybe oh well. Only hurts the first time. Doubt. Ah, the second also hurts. <laughs> You'll be fine. Okay. Well, if there's no way for me to get down, I guess we just go back to the puzzle room and see what else we can do now. Okay. Uh... Mm. It really is specific order stuff. You're gonna struggle if you try to create ones that they don't want you to, I guess. Which is... Uh, 
a little bit dumb, but it is what it is. He was submerged in black icor. Okay. It's so dark here. Uh, that's probably for later. There's a lot going on here. On the brink of madness. But I, I don't feel the slightest hint of confusion. On the contrary, I feel my mind is more focused than ever. Hmm. Again? Seriously? We don't have time for you to complain right now. Off we go. Okay. Um. All the brain cells working super hard. I kind of don't want to go swimming though. Thousands of slaves who perished here. I mean, I never want to be in the water, but let's go. Okay, where are we going? I guess on. one more time. You're doing great, sweetie. Ow, that hurt. Again. <laughs> yes, yes, I know you're upset. Come on. Okay, um All the doors are open. Oh nice. The constellation I need to open the throne room. I don't know, but I figured that out somehow. <laughs> Maybe let's not white figures. do a puzzle game next time, <laughs> because, oof. Uh. Oh, cool. Uh. Good doggies, or dragons, whatever you are. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I think that is right. Because I can move that facing that way and then that facing. Okay, wait. The brain cells are still working. They're still working. We got it. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Uh back up here um yeah you face that way and you face that way and who are you who are you uh i mean i don't see an issue with where you are so you can stay where you are it's not the issue yeah it's that should be right Excuse me, excuse me. Hello. Again? Seriously? We don't have time for you to be complaining right now.
what symbol do we need to to make i i am very much confusion unless you want me to make that and uh okay that's gonna be a mess yeah, well that's it I uh, kind of don't want to do that, but sure. Oh, I'm not ready. What a disturbing mirror! Is it made of? That's never a good sign. Oh wow, that's gorgeous. Heavens. I'm I'm very much confusion. Like this. That's terrifying. Nothing that happens here appears to respect the most basic rules of physics. However, it's cool as, as fuck, though. Be, it does maintain a peculiar harmony. Like the workings of a clock. Or a music box. Mm -hmm. Harry, is that you? I don't know if I can get down from here. Can I just drop down? No, Hurry up. Let's go. <laughs> wasn't going to work that's that's why you never sat on the throne you didn't even perform the ritual did you harry but huh? you wanted me to think that you had you even left a lure to confuse me but why i'm very much confused and the achievement just scared the actual shit out of me she thinks. Doesn't seem to be anything I can, you know, do. So. What really happened? The only person with you in that sanctuary beach was Cassandra. So if you didn't die, it had to be her. Shady, but okay. Oh, I can't run. We have to walk through this slowly. Too late. She shot you with your own gun and left you for dead, didn't she, Harry? Damn. That's crazy. Sandra was ambitious and would stop at nothing to uncover the secrets here. The island fueled that hunger for knowledge. I had doubts about whether the ritual would happen. But what happened to Cassandra cleared up those doubts. The ritual wasn't for What do you mean by people like you? The ritual was only for people like me. But you refused to believe it until the island itself spoke directly to you. Pacha Falgarfen. She is our daughter. That's mm. when you finally understood. 
you understood what my fate would be if I didn't come here and carry out the ritual. A slow and painful death. Wow. So you faked your own demise and left your glasses near Cassandra's corpse. The same glasses you never take off. What? And you sent me the package from Dylan Perry, your picture, the key, the dagger. Another one of your scavenger hunt. Huh. Okay, but then... I took the bait. You made me come to this island, the same island where you almost lost your mind and your life. The same island where four members of your expedition perished. Why did you deceive me, Harry? You said you would never lie to me. Why didn't you tell me the truth? Why did you do this to me? Because you knew that I would never accept my fate if it meant leaving you. Right, my love? Not even if staying with you would mean a slow and painful death. So the only way to get me to leave you was to make me believe you were dead. And you chose to live a life without me, so I could be who I really am. That's why you tried to deceive me. But I know you too well, my dear old pal. We've had so many years together, so many moments of love, happiness, understanding, friendship. A whole beautiful life with you. I know what you tried to do, but I can't let you make this decision for me, Harry. Yeah, right. Either I embrace my fate and accept what I've always been, and leave you behind. Or I reject it, and return home with you, to relish the time that my illness gives us. You, you can't help- my decision I'm, to make. I'm not gonna make it. You- you want me to- No! I don't- <laughs> You can't put this type of responsibility on me. Uh I've been on the screen for so long just trying to explain that, yeah, both of them are not exactly the best option, but be alive. We had a really good life, but that's not my life anymore, is it, Harry? Not after what I've been through on this island. Not after all I've found out about myself. I can't fool myself anymore. I have to accept what I truly am and leave you behind. I'm going back home. That is really cool, but scary. <laughs> what a lovely melody. I don't believe I've ever heard more than a few notes. Until now. Mm. For years I thought I was sick, but the truth is, I was homesick. My poor health, the pain, the suffering, it was all because of how far I was from here. Everything seems so far away now. No trace of pain, no trace of sickness, nothing besides this place. It's so pleasant to forget everything else. Nothing matters anymore. I'm finally one of the thousands of minds connected to the i -Corp. Connected with the Elder God.
Let's go. Go on for a swim. Ah, it's another one of these trips. <laughs> Definitely a fascinating elevator. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. One, two, don't forget the harmony. One, two, three. And that's it. Wow. <laughs> that was definitely an experience. Though I don't know how to feel about it just yet. I mean, as much as I do want to see, like, what it would look like if she decided to go back, I think this might have been for the best. I'm actually a little bit sad. <laughs> Even today, so many years later, I still doubt whether I did the right thing. Oh? I lied to you for the first and last time. And even if it was to free you from pain, suffering, and death, I deceived you. But I've paid such a high price for my deceit, Nora. Fate has punished me with a long and sorrowful life, with no other incentive than my work. Because that is the only thing I have now, my dear old pal. Aww. That's sad. Don't you start now. And that is the end. Wow, okay. I have a lot of thoughts. <laughs> First off, I don't like being, you know, the one making big life decisions for other people. So let's not do that. Uh, well, I love the art style. The puzzles, especially that last, um, not the, um, the one where you turn the, like, chess pieces. I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about the, um, the constellation puzzle itself that was tricky that was definitely really tricky but i did have so much fun playing this game even though the story was quite sad at the end i feel like he would have been sad regardless though because it's like either she has a short life and passes and then he still has no other incentive but he has to watch her die or it's you know what we've what happened and it's still quite sad though don't get me wrong but I don't really see how things could have ended up better, basically. But I definitely had a lot of fun and I, I loved the art throughout this game. It was gorgeous. But yeah, for now, that will be all from me. Until the next time, bye bye